Why does Phantom Power randomly turn off? <sighs> so I was already drinking for Mahjong. Because, you know, that's just what you do. And I figured that it seems appropriate to do this while the alcohol is still available. Wait a minute, am I even- am I in event mode? Why? Event mode is literally off, Serlin. Event mode is off! Okay. Oh, that's why. Because the game thinks I'm disconnected? Okay, now I'm not, I guess. AJ, I have one question. What the fuck are you drinking along Long Island? Because we have them. <laughs> I guess we're about to figure out if this is an appropriate size for the camera. Also, I think my capture is definitely fucked up at least a little bit. Oh, well. Uh, that'll be close enough for now, I guess. I'll have to figure out why that's just, like, mysterious. This guy's name is way too high. Um, huh. I don't have gamepad controls. That's exciting. Alright, we're gonna try to locate... Oh, no. Okay, real quick. Hey, can I have a minute? Round three. Fight. Okay. These are all mapped. So why can't I fucking walk, Serlin? Okay. I guess now it works. Really auspicious start to the stream. That was actually fine, except I crossed myself up. Oh, yes. Roll back indeed. 32 ping, and it looks like that. That's awesome. Oh, no. Very bad. Do not do that. Check that fucking sick counter hit! Dumbass! Alright. <laughs> this game sucks, huh? Jin is the right character to be playing in this sort of mood. <laughs> nope. Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's the reverse 4-0 right there. That's the David Serlin doesn't understand how to write gamepad configuration 4-0. I don't know how long I expect the stream to go, obviously, because alcohol is a key component, and so it probably ends when I'm no longer having fun with alcohol. Unironic fraud detection warning. What? That's not a fucking... Do better! That's embarrassing! Are you serious? Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> Roll back no jutsu dive kick. That's not okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Wait a minute. 33 ping! But I actually don't believe you, though. <laughs> Thank god this game has no high-lows. Oh yeah, it must be Wi-Fi. Did we see what platform? Wait, what? Help! Wake up, 4A? <laughs> yeah, 33 ping and 78% packet loss. <laughs> Can I push the button for characters other than Rook? I'm pushing it. I'll tell you a secret. It actually isn't hard to get people to rage quit on you in this game. All you have to do is play like a normal fighting game player, and nobody can handle it. As far as the Rook base, it's actually not on the Stream Deck anymore. I've actually got it on the Prionic, which I would be able to show you if I had my other camera on. Sassolino? Level 80? Hundred fifty four ping. And they know oh that's no fun. They know landslide is throw punishable. Oh, I thought I'd get over for sure. I wonder if I would still have gotten this player if I had, uh... Let's throw Punishable anywhere, by the way, by, like, the entire cast. You should not be letting that shit rock. I wonder if, would I, if I would still have gotten matched with this player if I had selected near my skill. Um, you good? Beauty of anti airs. Anyway, video game. <laughs> I'm glad to see someone appreciates my top level gameplay. Oh, we're just DPing through those, huh? I'll take the one damage, that's fine. And then I'll, like, up forward into another fireball and take another 10 damage. Okay, it's not fucking throw punishable, it literally as far out as it can ever possibly connect. Nice. Okay. It's a pretty good anti-air if your opponent's jumping attacks are all terrible. I could probably have made that work if I used JC though. How do they know? It's literally impossible. <laughs> I'm like, alright, if it's anything but the obvious thing, they lose. I'll run it back, because I respect this. But also, I'm switching the matchmaking filter back to near my skill after this. Because it is way funnier. Grappler matchups are weird because you have to have absolutely no fear of, like, taking a little blood. Oh, 
Nice. All the way up there. Not the setup. Round three. Fight. It is not quite fucking active enough for that to actually be a safe setup. Nor is it active enough for that to have somehow connected. Although, honestly, given the shit that I've seen with Rook Ground Super, I would not be completely surprised. <laughs> All you need is one. I laugh like I'm an evil mastermind every time I hit that fucking command throw. When, in truth, it is the most, like, elementally stupid action one can take. Holy shit. Zachary, fucking appreciate that deeply. That's a fucking lot. Oh, dude. I... Streamlabs never fixed this. So these are all going to go off in sequence. It's been a while since I've heard that fucking jingle, actually. I actually think I did a pretty good job. I forgot I made that. Why do I do the things that I do? Wait, these seriously aren't going on in a fucking sequence that makes any sense. Holy shit, three damage fireball combo. <laughs> oh no, I bet it all and lost. <laughs> yeah, just jump the gift sub, fucking idiot. I literally don't understand what's hard about this. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We're going to do an experiment in real time. We're going to see what happens when I select near my skill in casual match. And we're going to see if the opponents I get are closer or farther away to my skill than that. Huh. In terms of raw playtime, that makes sense. And they're playing from Steam, which means they probably have at least one brain cell. Round one. Also, this is the worst. The worst fucking matchup. I don't know if that was made clear in previous streams. Geiger Rook is like a mental damage matchup primarily. I just held forward into it. I'm done with this. Way too high wants to be. I respect that. Hey, Tyron, why would you super? Because I wanted to see what would happen. Also, this is a 206 ping Geiger. The fucking teleport uh, drop gears are from a different planet. Rollback netcode was actually a mistake. 
We didn't listen to the Infinite Versus yeah. developers, and now we're now fighting games will forever pay the price. We've we've lost the fucking. We've lost the secrets of Blitz netcode forever. We drove them away from the FGC and will be punished forever for it. Wait, Thunderclap wins in that circumstance? What the fuck? Oh yeah, I'm definitely playing Fantasy Strike at 12.30 in the morning, huh? This is difficult. Okay. Nah, holding five beats fucking walk in throw. Dude knows what the fuck is going on. Ah, well. Super would have won me the round, but... I don't know, in a situation where at best you're fucking three round deficit. Sometimes you gotta hold resources. I don't know. Motherfuckers always have super. It's crazy. Respect respectable. It's crazy because it looks like he's reacting so late with everything and it makes me feel like I can get away with murder. But actually he's just on a 200 pin connection in like a rollback game. No, this guy's good. Straight ass. Like, this is a hard matchup for me. But only if like the Geiger is playing shit correctly. And they absolutely are here. No, they're like, they're quite strong. I want to see you get air super off from his flash gear. I want that badly. Oh yeah, the new Twitch font is fucking stupid. I forgot about that. Chillin'. Okay. Alright. We actually got around. Whoa, 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 okay. Alright, what the fuck is going on? Just chilling out in proximity block for 18,000 years, NBD. Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> the one time, dude, doesn't fucking reversal. No, nah, there's really good stuff going on here. Dead ass. Alright, free stuff. Up forward against Geiger is historically a very bad idea. Yeah, that's like walk in throw punishable, and you don't even need to walk. 
It may be a sonic boom, but even at point blank, there's something to be fucking done. Ah, uh, that sucks, because Super would have done it. No, dude, why am I actually getting real matches? I haven't played this game in fucking 10,000 years, and I'm like... Two glasses of this shit in. I don't know what the fuck to think. Is this like... Everybody just fucking hanging out at EU hours on a fucking Wednesday? Thursday now? It's David Serlin's Long Island Iced Tea. Wow, both of them, huh? Respectable. <laughs> I guess their experience, much like mine, is that it's rare to find a player who has any brain cells available for use. Very unusual and unpredictable situation. What do I do when I have to actually play the game? So yeah, booze is my excuse for a second stream today. You're welcome, but with a giant question mark. Okay. I have never even seen the fucking Prestige Star system, so this person has been playing for 10,000 years. No, literally it's all of the actual players coming out of the woodwork. That's fucking crazy. Ghost no longer breaks armor, which means DeGray, in theory at least, is fucking helpless here. According to Czar. Not quite that active. I up forwarded. You know how sometimes you think you know, but then you don't know. Yeah, exactly like that. Super would have killed. Hanging on to it seems fun, though. What? What in the f- Oh, that's cute. You can call the fucking ghost and it hasn't, like, made it back by that time. So you get an instant follow-up. That's fucking wacky. Up forward after max range blocked landslide, huh? Smaller Heart says, I love watching you play this because it makes my brain cells go down by the second. What do you mean? This is high-level fucking professional gameplay here. I am good at fighting games. I promise that I'm lying. <laughs> oh, 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 did you guys catch that block animation? <laughs> That's pretty good. Really? No throw after that, huh? <laughs> Imagine thinking I know or care whether you're plus. <sighs> we have like strawberry cream vodka upstairs. That is not actually what it is. I can try to drink it, but it's like cotton candy and Robitussin. Interesting. Really? That's fascinating. Round seven. 
Shit, we're actually at around seven. Think about how insane that is. Grappler. Pick all three options in order. No, we're actually getting games. That's fucking insane. I literally expected this to be shit on Children Central. All night. Alright, that's counter. I should have died for that. Hey, you remember to have that. Not quite the range. <laughs> you like the way that notated his two hit combo? Appreciate that, Chase. Anti air. That was way closer than it was supposed to be for Rook Base. Round four. Fight. Fight. The one damage knockdown is a rough option. Gotcha. I literally just need to remove Stan B from my vocabulary. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm shocked that's not fucking trip guarding him. I cannot fucking catch the motherfucker when he's landing. Respectable. That's not an anti-air. Ah, I see. It's if you don't hit a button, you don't have landing lag. That makes sense. Or my throws could just be some of the least active tools in the history of fighting games. This guy is catching every jump. Ah! So sloppy. Rook has too many matchups that require me to be, like, patient and use my brain. Maybe I should play Valerie if I'm gonna get actual games tonight. I didn't need to, but I did. Get hyped for enhanced flamethrower in the Machinist job action trailer. I should do my own personal bingo for it. You ready for fucking flamethrower auto turret so we can use battery in AoE? Respectable. I knew it! I knew you'd call her. What's that saying about broken clocks? I 
Alright, let me play a character who's actually, like, deranged and stupid. Every character in this game is deranged and stupid, but this is apparently the flavor of deranged and stupid that will permit me to play, like, high-skill games the way that I like. Which is walk in and hit a bunch of buttons, and suddenly something fucking happens. Dude, I gotta play the new fucking WarioWare at some point. And the fucking rook comes out of the woodwork? This isn't fair, I'm getting players who actually play the game. Is it possible that all the new players have dried up exactly as I predicted because Fantasy Strike is actually incredibly unfriendly if you play against certain characters? I'm holding up. Okay, that's sometimes just a risk you have to take. I'm holding up again. That's the way it goes. That's what happens when you play a 5 HP character. Alright, here we go. Oh no! He's doing the thing! Okay. The lights are coming on. Oh, it's so active. I should have known. Ah, the body splash. What? <laughs> Rainbow Dicks! Rainbow Dicks! Here we go. In the in the immortal words of our Lord and Savior, A. E. Yun. Hope you like dicks. Get ready. I have to reversal. Maybe I could have reacted to that. Oh! It's a hard knock life for us. Nobody plays Rook. So, oh my goodness, hello there. The reset. <laughs> Karnas says, you know what they say, AJ? Do they say, hope you like dicks, get ready? They say jumpable. Chase has got it right. <laughs> ah! No. So on a scale from 1 to 10, where 1 is like, yeah, sometimes I have a little wine with dinner, and 10 is David Serlin des designing Fantasy Strike. How obvious is it that I've been drinking? Okay, this is very bad. Strong six to a light seven. I should have stayed in. Okay. All right. Uh, Rido's hitting me with the zero.
What the fuck? Why don't you know how to do your meat? -e -e? Also, that anti-air doesn't work when you're at 1 HP because it's based on armor. Do your best, Rook! Oh yeah, I forgot that doesn't work on grapplers. I thought for sure it was fake. That timing was way too fucking fucked up. Rainbow dicks! Oh, oh, no! That's very bad. <laughs> Well, today I learned that that happens if you don't do it low enough. Maybe if you do it at all. I wonder how much worse I'm playing. That's, that's interesting to think about. Hold on. Did I break my stream layout the way that I thought I did? Oh yeah, I totally did. Nice. Okay, I'll have to fix that later. Which it is mildly annoying to do. Oh, 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 good! Welcome! Welcome to Rollback City, my brothers! My brother! I'm gonna need you to get it together! Okay, did we see how long... This person's been playing. Okay, they're just not doing anything correctly at all, I think. Did the people who know how to play go to bed? What? Oh. You are smoking penis right now, my brother. The run back, though, I'm surprised. That's re that's respectable. Oh my god, please anti-air me when I fucking jump at you swinging with J.A. <laughs> Look at how long... Long. Look at how wrong that OTG looks. I promise you have a reversal! If you don't know what else to do, and you know I'm going to do something to you, you can DP. It is not against the law. I'm sorry this is happening to you. Wait, did they just round start walk into the corner? Help. I, I don't know what to do about this information. <laughs> five A throw? Round five. Fight. Not with throws, stop it. It's, there's something satisfying about watching people walk into the corner at round start. There's something about it that makes me deeply happy. Yeah, walking into the corner got them the round. Hold on. If, if all the people who know how to play went to sleep, I'm gonna pick Rook again. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta stop everything. What's in the fantasy store? I can get a, a Valerie practice routine. I can get cursed and evil arg. Ninja student. I could buy a name change with gems. 
and change my fantasy tag to please fucking throw punish landslide. Arg is always cursed and evil. You're correct in that regard. I should fucking turn chat display on. Hold on. My chat source is called Chad. I just feel like you should know that. Because I had other sources in my scene that were called chat when I was fucking redoing all my fucking scenes. And so it wouldn't let me call one chat. So I called it Chad. You're all Chads now. You see, David Serlin. I've drawn you in this image. <laughs> I should play Fantasy Strike in VR for absolutely no reason. It's like... <laughs> How drunk am I right now? It was like 14%, right? <laughs> Neku, imprint the soy jack into David Serlin. <laughs> it does not have a VR mod. I would be playing it in fucking Steam's desktop game theater for absolutely no reason. No, dude! I switch back to Rook and it gives me a fucking career lum player. They're not a career lum player because of level 12 on the character and level 73 globally. But I really, really don't want to actually play this matchup. Also, this game handles sound rollback in a way that is actually actively disgusting. I figure I should mention that. Yeah, LUM players. People who play LUM. Like, listen to it! It's so disgusting! Fuck you and your stupid goddamn trampoline. Stop it. Hope you like dicks. Fuck off. What? That's an illegal low profile. What the fuck? I had no idea. It had to be fireworks. Fuck off. Fuck off. Cross up empty jump into normal throw is something that makes me deeply happy. Look at how fucking stupid that looked. I hate everything about what's happening on screen currently. All right, here we go. Empty jump. <laughs> Forcing people back onto layer one. Fucking shit gives me like the biggest fucking serotonin rush. When I can identify the exact point at which my fellow human being is acting entirely on fucking instinct. <laughs> if 
Fucking Nick Brawl isn't gonna be Kusoge. Cause Slap was like trying to be bad and wasn't. So fucking uh Nick Brawl's gonna be completely fine. It's gonna be a very serviceable platform fighter. Calling that one in the air. I remember that fucking editing trend. Just putting Pendulum over the hate mail that you got in Arena. Mabel was a- <laughs> Help! 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 I can't believe the fireworks. Did they actually? Okay, there we go. Dude, fireworks are so good. Literally, the one-page moveset guide for Lum says, Use your item throw a lot, hope for fireworks. What the fuck? Thanks for the super meter, asshole! No, but for real, this game sucks. This game is actually not good. <laughs> so, Frog, I've been told that I have a habit of responding to conversations that I don't know I'm a part of when I'm streaming. They'll be having a conversation upstairs and then out of nowhere I will yell something and it will be, you cannot bring me the whole bottle. That's, the whole bottle. that's not good. I didn't come here to make good decisions. <laughs> That's literally not a good choice. But I will have another glass. Hey, Frey? You need to take the rest of this back and put it into the fridge, my brother. The actions you are describing are not good. Oh, fucking... That'll come out, I hope. 
Got a little bit onto the desk mat. Where is my fucking paper towels? to wet this. Let me just hope that doesn't stain. This desk mount was like fifteen dollars. DX Saigon is back. This was the Jaina that didn't do anything right, right? Let's see if they handle this. No. Nah. Keep trying. There you go. Sorry to hear that your DP is a single hit. <laughs> okay, so empty jump landslide is not a mix up with a risk reward ratio that makes any sense. Also, this move is throw punishable. You did it earlier in the round. There you go. Great, that's good. Do that 500 more times. Super also works. Oh no, now I have to play. The idea is to play as inefficiently and annoyingly as possible while still winning every round. This is something I apparently do naturally. So I get a lot of rage quits. It's a pretty deep cross up. This person has gone the distance with me though, respect for that. Oh no! 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 Oh hey, wait, 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 brain cells. New technology developing in real time. See, look, this is adaptation. This person is actually playing the game and improving. Which is presumably why they managed to stick around to like player level 30. Karnas is also drinking. You know what happens when you drink on my streams? We've been over this. No, not a combo. Too high. Sorry. Okay. No. No. Round three. Fight. Why'd they stop zoning? Because they were in the corner. They didn't have anywhere else to walk back to. Oh. 
That was a fascinating rollback. All right. Nope. Sorry. They up back. Okay. Sometimes rook things just happen on the screen. And there's not really a lot that's going to be done about it. The throw-throw mix-up and the entire premise of it is one of the dumbest things I have ever seen in a fighting game. In terms of dumb, relative to the dumb... Holy shit, is it the real Yori Yagami? Guys, I think that's a Yori. <laughs> Watch out for the Rekka, everyone. It's Iori Yagami. Alright, check it. Here's the three damage fucking cross up. Or you could just do nothing correctly. You up backed into the body splash. At least DP. Okay, that's legit. Okay. Um I don't know about all that. I think you may have made some mistaken decisions along the way. Nothing good happens when I play this game. My need to walk forward is great. That's my fault for taking six damage trying to walk in. I just want to get the walk in throw so bad. Can you can you guys tell? Deep. I think it's hype that there are people who are getting good at this game. And I think this game achieves something that I've never seen any fighting game achieve ever. Which is being fucking free to play and free to win with no meaningful restrictions on the way you can compete in the fucking ladder. While also having that code that is not a fuck. What are you doing, my brother? See, sometimes if you throw early enough, you actually still get to block the reversal, which is insane. They know the chip set up? They do not. Oh no! Ah, oh, no run back? That's disappointing.
Rook actually gives my... <sighs> Hold on. Alright, so I'm gonna check my fucking profile. Then we're gonna go to All Seasons. It's official. I'm a Rook player. Oh, no! It's very bad. It is, in fact, terminal. I'm having quite a lot more alcohol than I usually have, so I also have this. Fuck Lum. I refuse to sully my account with that fucking shit. There is no reason to fucking play item characters unless you think they're cool and no one thinks Lum is cool. I do not actually believe that anyone finds item characters fun. It is it is a desire to project their suffering onto the world around them. This is the only explanation I have for like Teddy. Also, Faust is fucking cool. Not from a gameplay design perspective ever at all, but he's hilarious to look at, which is good. Yeah, see, TH over there gets it. Oh, yes! Near your skill. Oh no! 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 <laughs> they teach you how to Yomi counter in the tutorial! I detect the throw. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Turn off the music. He's got it figured out. He figured out how to defend against throws, everyone. Just kidding! But actually, though, think about that experience from the perspective of someone who has never played the game before and think about it seriously. Your faith in the defensive systems of the game is... Everybody woke up. <laughs> I have never seen a new player understand how to deal with this defensively. Alright, see? They know how to defend against throws. Just kidding. 
I am 100% certain I have caused more people to quit Fantasy Strike than any other single factor in the entire fucking world. Nope. Alright, they saw the jumpable. Now guess what? They tried to jump! See, another trying to tech throws like they do in normal fighting games. Or they've assumed that throw is just a broken option and they're trying to use it whenever they can. The jumpable text only appears if the throw was not a punish. Do you realize how insane that is? That means if a new player is doing the one thing that all new players are known to do at all times, which is hitting buttons on wake up, they will never see the text that explains how to defend. Fucking additionally, you know how they use in the tutorial to explain the concept of special throws? They use Midori. And Midori's special throw glows yellow. And they point out, you need to jump when I'm glowing yellow when I walk at you. So every player who's paying attention comes out of the fucking tutorial with the expectation that special throws are yellow. But that actually denotes Midori's empowered state. And you can't give command throws a consistent color overlay because the color overlay is used to convey other mechanics. Rook's command throw is blue, and so it, because it's armored, and it needs to have some way of conveying the armor in a way that's consistent with the design language of Fantasy Strike, so it can't simultaneously be indicated as a fucking special throw and as an armored move because the only design language available is the fucking color tint. And both moves are a fucking cinematic lariat. Both moves leave you knocked down close. Both moves do teal. Both moves do two damage. How the fuck are you supposed to know what to do with this? So this person was guessing randomly, which they'd be expected to do since I'm rotating between throw and command throw randomly, they'd be getting out 50% of the time. They're getting out substantially less than 50% because they have no faith in the defensive systems, and they're not choosing any correct options. They're not just choosing to defend against the normal throw by going for a Yomi counter, or choosing to defend against the command throw by holding up. They're choosing to mash throw, to hit buttons, to do whatever they can because they don't understand how the core defensive systems work. This is the most new player hostile thing I have ever seen in a game that is otherwise so good about being fucking approachable and friendly. That person is uninstalling Fantasy Strike. I was their first and last opponent, and this has happened every single time I have opened the game for months and months and months. Davis Durlin! What the fuck? Are you fucking serious, dude? I don't know. Maybe I should write Serlin a letter. Hello, David Serlin. It's me. Famous Twitch content creator, twitch.television slash Tyrone Sama. Alright, Switch Rook player. A lot of experience behind them. More time on the character than I have. So let's see what the fuck is going on. I respect it. <laughs> A 
fun aspect of the Rook Mirror. <laughs> what a fucking slug fest. Alright. Nice. Now this person actually plays for sure. I mean, Serlin also doesn't, like, understand, like, input lag. That was something that T brought to my attention, that somebody was having a conversation with Serlin about, like, hey, how much input lag does Fantasy Strike have? Have you measured? And he responded with, Fantasy Strike has no input lag, because the time between your inputs being displayed in the input feed in training mode and the move coming out is zero frames. And he thought that was an actual answer to the fucking question. Nice, that's good. Nah, armor move was bad there. I'm actually getting smixed. I don't think I can win against good players in this state. I think I might only be good enough to, like, make new players leave the game. Ah, oh, well. That's not a combo. Oh no. Round five. Fight. Landslide. 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 I think if it was later, it would have worked just fine. The jump back, uh, fucking JC is actually pretty good. I might have to steal that for my own nefarious purposes. <laughs> Look at how much fucking range that has, actually. Like, the throw-throw mix-up is not a mix-up that is, like, a true 50-50 between two, like, indistinguishable options. The distance at which you get knocked down and, like, the range at which you can apply each tool and the sorts of things that work against it... They're different. It's not big differences, but they're impactful differences. And they're differences that... No more. Oh! No, really? Really? On the cutscene. Daryl told me it was the comeback arc. Okay. No, I'm actually... <laughs> I'm actually intoxicated now. I hope that's extremely obvious. I'm not as think as you drunk I am, Lieutenant. Oh, boy. You see those fucking snake eyes? Round 
This is how it goes. Okay. No. Okay. I don't know if I'm actually good enough to do this to people right now. Maybe I'll lose to the level one player, who knows? They're definitely doing some things that aren't uh, jump forward uh, JA. Whiff throw into throw works every time. Round three. Fight. Oh no. What are you doing? <laughs> Think about how much time you watch Rook fucking spinning pile driving your ass in your average match of Fantasy Strike if you're playing against me. Okay, am I working too hard? They saw the jumpable text. And then they tried to jump. My proof that it's easy to understand where the fucking teaching tools and where the intuition on defensive systems is fucking failing people is the fact that in a 50-50 I can hit people seven times in a row every round. Dude, Frog, can you believe that this is after the fucking uh, lighting update? Yeah, unbelievably, people are rematching me. Some people actually want to learn. I think I'm not playing toxic enough against this person. Let's try a different approach. Let's try this. Hey, maybe, maybe the blue tint means it's a special throw. So I want to preface this by saying that I think if you have fighting game knowledge and the person you're playing against has fighting game knowledge, Fantasy Strike manages to hit a unique sort of place as a sort of improv comedy routine on a fighting game engine. But... I mean, you're looking at it. The game isn't as bad as I make it look, and it's possible to have a lot of fun with it. But... What do you mean, what happened? That was just a normal Fantasy Strike interaction. <sighs> this... Fucking ladies and gentlemen and distinguished whales of any preferred self-identification. This is what we call a rare opportunity. Did you know that Rook is large enough for you to connect with another Stan C without walking forward after the knockdown from Stan C. Round two. Fight. See how the jumpable text stopped coming up? When it comes up, it means that they weren't doing anything or they were trying to Yomi counter. They found the Rook specific answer. Seal asks, so how do you beat it? Can you tech it? See, even people who know, like, fighting game things, like, okay, you can tech throws. This is really not obvious. So, this move, I'm the rook on the right, and I'm whiffing normal throw. 
And that's Command Throw, your Stand C. To defend against normal throws, you either use a throw and vulnerable move, go or fucking, uh, take your hands off the controls completely. And if you're thrown while you're not touching your controls, not only do you reverse the throw and get either one or two damage, depending on your throw damage, you get full super meter. It's very rewarding to do. On the other hand, command throws can hit pre-jump. So, like, hold on. Normal throws can hit pre-jump. I'm very fucking intoxicated. Normal throws hit pre-jump, but command throws must be jumped out of, and if you try to Yomi counter them, you will get hit. So, you do nothing for normal throw, and you hold up for command throw. It should be relatively easy to understand how this is not particularly obvious for new players, who are not even sure that what they're being hit with is a throw. Also, this is a fun interaction where Stancy itself is thrown vulnerable. <laughs> Giving Rook a very Rook-specific option. Also throws looking like that all the time. No fighting game things are actually happening on the screen right now. See, 5C as a tool given to a grappler in a game that on a system level is like kind of hostile to grapplers, it makes a lot of sense. Rook is a well-designed grappler under the assumption that you are playing Fantasy Strike and know all the rules. Look at this. This fucking person's coming back. Gotta pay attention. This is the part where I prove for real that I'm not as thick as you drunk I am. Delayed fucking 5C. There you go. If you don't know the defensive rules, I am reasonably convinced it's not possible to learn them. Also, let's just talk about that interaction. Actually, the ongoing interaction, if I'm being completely fucking honest. See? They're learning. Is that? Oh yeah, that's airborne, isn't it? Yeah, nothing about 5C indicates that it can be thrown vulnerable. It's just weird that it is. And it makes sense on a utility level for it to be thrown vulnerable. I'm about to drown, by the way. Dead ass. Oh no. There it is! <sighs> All right. They didn't win quit. That means there's hope. Rook mirrors are really weird. See what I mean? I keep thinking I'm gonna get fucking uh, body splash when I neutral jump out of that. Bray asks, so are there any mirrors that aren't weird? I like 64 Falcon mirrors. I don't think those are very weird. Holy shit. Look at this! Look at the number of dumb things that happen because of armor. The one in our bathroom isn't too weird, Jesus. Look at how much fucking fighting game is happening. I thought for sure it was fucking coming. Woo! Boy! We're playing fighting games today! Oh 
They knew. How did they decipher my frame kill? The Rook Mirror is uniquely dumb. I like it a lot, actually. Not because it has any apparent fighting game virtues. Or that anything about it on a mechanical level is fun to play or interesting to figure out. But like I said, improv comedy routine. It's you and your opponent collaborating to create something beautiful. And abhorrent and disgusting. And sacrilegious. And painful and stupid and awful. And hype. And dumb. If you feel like you're having an out-of-body experience watching this, think about where I am. I appreciate that you have to look at Rook the entire time. Hey, I still have a free name change. Maybe I should fucking name change to, uh, throw blocked landslide. I keep forgetting this exists. Now... Let's be fair. Whale bait microtransaction packs are not unique to Fantasy Strike, and a lot of games use them effectively to subsidize the game by offering exclusive things to people for whom money does not actually have any inherent value. But a hundred fucking dollars. <laughs> Let's be fair though, hold on, fucking. Let's go to the Path of Exile store. Everyone who's played Path of Exile knows what, where I'm about to go. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, keep scrolling, yeah! There's the Atlas Core Supporter Pack. <laughs> See, cause here's the situation, Path of Exile is actually one of the most fair free-to-play games that I've ever seen. You can play all of the content in the entire game for zero dollars if you're okay with being mildly inconvenienced by storage limits. And then you can make a one-time discrete purchase of like fucking ten to thirty dollars. Get yourself a couple inventory tabs, stash tabs. So that sorting your loot becomes a little bit easier. And there you go. And they haven't even like... There are a lot of quality of life features related to the fucking managing and storing of loot that could have been locked behind paywalls that weren't. So how does Path of Exile get people to pay up if there's nothing that you need to buy? The answer is that it doesn't. Instead, for the people that do pay up, it recognizes that to a lot of people who are going to be dropping money on online games they like a lot, the difference between $40 and $400 doesn't actually matter to them. In fact, that difference may even allow them to achieve a fucking level of status that they otherwise wouldn't be able to have. It says, I was able to spend $400 on this. This is a 200 ping player. Nearly 300. Yeah, Path is like... If you choose to play in the way that most players play, there is a trade economy, but otherwise you are mostly on your own. Look at that fucking anti-air! What the fuck? The reason fucking Lance, uh, fucking Windmill Crusher is active for like 40 frames is because it's intended to be used as an anti-air. 
because a lot of the design philosophy of Fantasy Strike is centered around making sure the move lists are as small as possible. That's why they allow for fucking left-right mix-ups in the form of cross-ups, but think that, like, high-lows are apparently too much. It's not that high-lows are different or harder or easier to parse than fucking uh, cross-ups. It's because allowing characters to crouch and gain access to another moveset bloats the move list in a way that makes them more difficult to control. And so you get a lot of moves that serve a whole lot of fucking purposes. And Windmill Crusher is one of those MOVES! Not quite that active. Hey, there we go. Oh, the lights are on. The music goes off because the lights are on. Like, you guys watched me lose with this character badly against players who are substantially better than me for like the first half hour of the stream. What in the fucking world? So you've seen photographic evidence that not only is this beatable, but if I play in this way against players who are paying attention, I get my fucking balls rocked. Pretty amazing how ugly Fantasy Strike is, though, for real. Like, this game kind of looks unusually awful, given its stated aesthetic. It's like, the people who complained about SF4 looking like shit, the people who still complain, at least. So I can understand going from Third Strike to SF4 and being like, huh, maybe, maybe this ain't it. But the people who still unironically think that SF4 looks like shit and has always looked like shit, this is what I imagine they're seeing when they look at fucking SF4. This is all I can imagine them seeing. 2006 free-to-play Korean MMO which got a graphical update sometime in 2014 looking game. Any of y'all remember Ragnarok Online 2? Ow. Ow. Those are bad memories. <laughs> yeah, it's like the actual SF4 fucking characters are like... I don't know, Ryu has very large feet. And his face kind of looks fucked up. But the way that game is animated and the fucking visual effects in general are fucking neat. It manages to attain a fucking clear and coherent visual style that clearly separates it from everything else available on the market. Okay, so this is the part where we're having, why would you have a 30 dungeon clear month limit? I am the type of person who appreciates those limits in moderation. Because for me, what those limits are is, okay, we're gonna draw a line, and above this line, any further time or effort you invest into the, invest into the game has significantly diminishing returns. Meaning that if you're looking for a point at which on a daily or weekly or monthly basis, you can fucking say, all right, I've done all that it's efficient to do, then you can cut things off there and be done with it. And as someone who has limited time and a lot of personal projects to juggle, and generally speaking is pulled in 15 different directions constantly, I appreciate that I am able to keep reasonable pace with people who play fucking 40 hours a week 
while having a clearly defined stopping point. With that said, everything about MapleStory 2 looked like a fucking mess. I have never seen a game make its fucking diehard players that angry so consistently, and I fucking played Elsword! Are you serious? Three glasses of Long Island in. I don't actually remember. I don't know. Maybe I've drunk this much before. Drank this much? Drunk this much? Drinking? Look at how fucking ugly the rollbacks are. See, because I heard a lot about Maple Story 2 specifically because people from the Elsword community were jumping onto it. Because of general frustration with the fact that Elsword PvE is a joke and doesn't make any sense. These Long Islands are 14%. I think this is probably the most I've drunk in a short time, but not the most I've drunk over a night. I'm not exactly a lightweight, you can see that, because I'm fat as fuck, but my alcohol tolerance, despite that, is somehow mysteriously kinda low. And I also don't particularly like to be more drunk than I can fucking undo by just, like, sitting down for 20 minutes. Uh -huh. Crazy. Ow. Uh, no 4 0. Missed opportunity. Yeah, if I had to fucking come up with a pithy way to describe Maple Story 2 from an outsider's perspective, it would have to be a game for no one. That would be the slogan I'd pick for it. I didn't need to use the super, but I can. Oh yeah, that's true. This is the person who fell over to fucking needy landslide times 500. I forgot about that. If I get the run back, I'll do that. Round one. Fight. I got time. Gotta make sure to drink a lot of water so I don't fucking suffer tomorrow. So you guys have seen me fight good players earlier. And so you know that this move is throw punishable on block. But GKX780, one of the worst screen names I have ever seen, doesn't know that.
know me. I drink a lot of water, I piss a lot of pee. I drink a lot of water, I piss a lot of pee. That's the way it goes. Oh, I'm not actually in matchmaking. The fuck? When did that happen? I think life is good for me right about now. I sit down at my desk and I play garbage games on fucking cute technology input devices. I've already flexed the fucking keyboard, but I'm gonna flex it again. These keycaps are too nice. Here's the key mash that I just performed, you're welcome. Just having a good time. Taking things that do not deserve to be taken seriously, 100% seriously. Because... I think that's what a life well lived means. How long did it take you to figure out which keys were which? Dude, I fuck it, I've been learning Colmac for the last couple of weeks. I don't even know where keyboards are. Is there a raid tomorrow slash later today? Uh, there is no raid until Friday. I may stream Tui or something else tomorrow. We will see how things go, because it is honestly beyond my ability to predict what tomorrow morning is going to be like for me. Please so chat how many keyboards you have in your room. So here's one, two, three. And then the piano, over there. Hold on! Give me a second! I'm busy doing something! Um, I'm not even tapped into the game. <laughs> that took me an embarrassing amount of time to realize I've had a lot of alcohol. Oh, oh no! Super is actually so good. <laughs> this player is not half bad either. Hey, Seal, appreciate it.
The Prime Gaming subscription. You get one. You wasted it here, and for that I have... I don't know, I feel some type of way about it. Oh no. Oh, actually... Oh god, well... I don't want to say categorically that I would be good enough to win this if I wasn't drinking, but... I have some predictions related to that. I actually didn't know that he could fuck in. I framed for that. I'm so good at video games. That's the weirdest looking cross up of all time. Probably not of all time. Maybe in Fantasy Strike. I knocked myself down on purpose, don't worry. Oh no! Help, it's 5B! Help, it's 5B! No, Fantasy Strike Quanix gets it. This game is actually really fucking funny. Catching people up backing them and immediately throwing them. Look at it! It's so consistent! Not quiet. Ow. Hey, you too. Why are you wasting those? What the fuck? Thanks, but why? This is the lowest quality content maybe in the history of fucking internet video. How the fuck did that actually work? You must have been pressing. You must have been fucking mashing. It's a three hit combo that involves one move. Alright, here we go. Oh, I fucking suck. Haley says, AJ, I hate content. I only want you to post bad content. All right, you got it. I think I can make that happen. It may be difficult. I'm lying. Okay, that's... No, that's very bad. I think I have to fix Applebot on Twitch again. Since it's been a billion fucking million years since I've been here. I still want to fix her Markov shit as well, but apparently the plan at some point is for message content to become a privileged intent for Discord bots. And what that means is that you will not actually be able to interact with bots and they won't be able to read your messages outside of uh, slash commands unless the bot is like verified, which is done by like fucking sending in your ID and explaining why you would need to access fucking user messages and shit. I need to take a break from fucking Rook. This is too much. Let's play the opposite of this kind of dumb. So we're definitely on the way down. Look at Valerie. Her eyes are different colors. She has homophobia. Easy joke. It's fucking carrot frowny face is exactly the emotion that I think all Lum players have at all times. 
Roll the dice. It's actually two in the morning. Maybe I should stream at two in the morning more often. Some of you are fucking Europeans. Some of you just don't have normal sleep schedules. Some of you are actively ruining your sleep schedule to be here, to which I say to that. Go the fuck to sleep. Nothing good. This is not a place of honor. No esteemed deed is commemorated here. The danger is to the body. Frog says, I'm in your time zone and your walls. Honestly? I don't know. It is frog underscore zero. I've definitely had whole ass extremely lost frogs just kind of like wander out of gaps in the basement walls and fucking run around my room every now and again. TH says, I have an Australian GF. Huh, that's weird. Me too. How unusual. Oh my god, the frog stuck between the windows. Hold on. Let me see if I can find this video. Oh my god. This video is so old! This is from fucking 2015. I was basically an infant back then. Cause there's this video and then there's a follow-up to this video. Family for <laughs> that video okay 60 oh her here's my chat here's my channel trailer thanks i really needed to see that it's actually fucked up how badly the uh, fucking layout here is broken by the way fucking people said that video had demo energy when i uploaded it six years ago i'm so glad that fucking translates because it wasn't what i was thinking of at all at the time but it's totally something that fucking happened to me I was absolutely fucking, like, hand over fist inhaling fucking funny anime reviewer man at the time. Let me see how far back I have to scroll to find the follow-up to that video. <laughs> I have a video of Rocket League that is titled Challenge Promo Arena. <laughs> Okay, I have um, the 30-minute saga where uh, one of my PSO2 teammates gets attacked by his housemate with a can of cooking spray. That was pretty good. There was I.I. Jump Scare. There was Fuck You Reet, Give Me My Money, aka Syncopia Supersonic. Jesus, I'm fucking scrolling through here. Always Face Top Deck Heroes is one of the greatest videos I've ever made, and I will never fucking apologize for it. Did a 10 minute fucking sword critique for somebody a bazillion million years ago. That's fucking crazy. Uh, I irresponsibly disclosed an L-Sword Forum XSS vulnerability by demonstrating to the entire fucking player base of teenagers that you could put code in your signature that made loud nigra autoplay on all fucking pages for everyone who visited the forum. That was a good time. I... I tried to disclose that responsibly. I 
I was not given the opportunity to do the right thing. I think I still ended up doing the wrong thing, but... <sighs> There's neutrals, for sure. <laughs> oh yeah, there was like the week and a half where I played Pockin. And actually did the same thing I do in this game, but with fireballs. There was Loading Fighter 5, which got picked up by fucking R. Kappa. God tier voice, God, if I only I had known better. Anybody remember Launch Street Fighter 5? Coming your way. Hold on, I have to click off my camera for this. Shoutouts to fucking Hukuro no Ken. Learning that all the fucking broken ass shit in that game is actually like really hard kind of changed my life. It's like, oh no, no, it's actually like all difficult. <laughs> like the things that make that game broken are like super non obvious. I had to scroll so far back to find this. Oh my god. So there's now three frogs in the window, and I don't remember at what point in the saga this happened. But I'm just kind of spending my fucking work day just staring at them. And this interaction happens, and I still think about it six years later. They have adapted to life in the window. Motherfucker gets up for him! What is going on? I like frogs. Frogs are, like, pretty top-tier animals in general. Twitch plays Elsword. This is an old-ass Final Fantasy video from 2015 where my character looked completely fucking different and I was still pogging at the fucking environment design. Crazy. Did this video actually get blocked? I think this may have gotten blocked worldwide because of the Madoka soundtrack. This was like, Icarus buys me a Wii U and I proceed to stream Smash 4 on the world's most fucked up potato capture card.
Delfino was legal for so long! <laughs> Fucking... Down throw! Fucking stage does the work and pulls me up to him and towards the fucking top blast line. God, I'm not even gonna put on Lisa and Mix a play. Everyone's seen that, everyone knows what's going on. Here's me pogging at the environment design in PSO2. Fucking. Let's see. Me getting fucking blasted by a Lulu because there were sets in Elsword that would, on a random chance, deal damage to you when you hit the fucking wearer of the set. That was. Dude, Elsword was not very good. Me pogging over the environment design of Final Fantasy circa February 2015. Sentence mixing the whack ass vomiting box f boss from uh, fucking DMC Dante May Cry to say I'm 12 years old. That was a good time. Bullying people with DK. <laughs> I think the shitty edit of a fucking Discovery Channel uh, documentary is still one of my most viewed videos of all time, and it's the lowest effort joke ever. Just the slightest distraction can throw him off. <laughs> Video is so old. Foxes are also pretty top tier animals, if I'm being completely honest. Wait, 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 no, hold on. This is. This is the only fucking video that I need to show anyone of El Sword. <laughs> Just... I still don't have an explanation for that one. The video where I told everyone to turn their keyboards upside down and mash on the bottom of the keyboard to play Lunatic Psyker. Uh, the video where people accused me of being a racist. That was an interesting time. That's true, I never made the Aisha tutorial. <laughs> so, like, merging the largely defunct and dead-as-fuck Latin American servers, which presumably it was, like... No longer worth KOG's time to maintain. Merging them with North America in a game with netcode as bad as Elsword's was. I mean, I think my thoughts on this are still the same basically like seven years later. That fucking song, dude. That song was the meme for like so long. I don't know when this became reminiscing about my fucking YouTube channel. That's crazy. All right. 
I'm like on the last page of my upload, so I'm gonna hit you with like one of the only videos I ever made in 2014 that was any good at all. Remember that icon? The icon's over there. Tyrone, somebody gets a rolling start. It's one of fucking Maskey's videos. Bother her. <laughs> and then, because I was on the internet in 2014, Get God was a comment on every single one of my videos for like six months. Oh. Dude, the emote edits are so bad! <laughs> Nose sunglasses? All fucking humor visionaries, every single one of you. Dorothea was like way after that. Dorothea was like from the post Elsword era. The post Elsword era. Someone shoot me in the face. Okay, so the difficulty with explaining Dortia is that if I explain what, like, the Dortia meme actually was, it will not make any sense that it stuck for, like, five years straight, because it is, like, upsettingly fucking stupid and facile and fucking dumb. People still remember Pizza Forge. Listen, I forgot the word oven. It happens, okay? One of my fucking housemates called a dustpan a broom bucket. These things happen sometimes. The thing is that anyone who's been here for a long time shouldn't have been, because if you're here for a long time, that means you were playing Elsehard with me, and you shouldn't do that. <sighs> we got games? Is the game even loud enough right now? Round one. Fight. Okay, you know how to block your own fucking cross up, I know. Dude, fucking yeah, Haley and I met in the fucking like a, a rhythm game Skype. I don't even know if it was the rhythm game Skype. It might have been one of many for all I know. <laughs> fucking Osumania group chat. Crazy. Whoa, you can just walk out of that? That's crazy. That actually beats the reversal? Oh yeah, these pallets, I forgot. It's sick, huh? Back when Osu was my fucking shit. I literally, like, found a place to live that was directly adjacent to my long-distance boyfriend of, like, a couple years at the time, specifically because I was playing PSO2. My life is plotted like a fucking anime. Shut up. Stop it.
Yeah, grinding BMS converts in fucking Osu Mania instead of playing LR2. Okay, well, to be fair, LR2 sucks. LR2 is like the best thing that exists for BMS. Or it was at the time, but LR2 is really fucking bad. Yeah, I like how I sometimes get people here who, like, have no idea how they found me at all. That makes me really happy, honestly. Because I don't know how I got here, so I don't feel like anybody else should know how they arrived here as well. Guess who tried to fucking Yomi counter? O2 Jam converts, which is completely broken key sounding. Yeah, see? That was the shit, right? And like, the charts that we're getting converted weren't even good. Space time! No! Fucking spy! <laughs> so, with related to like discovering weird things online, uh, a tip for those of you who use Twitter. Uh, step one, stop. But, like, failing that. Step two, block every account you see in promoted tweets. You don't ever stop seeing promoted tweets. But what happens is that the promoted tweets you see get fucking unhinged. Because Twitter really wants to put a promoted tweet in that slot. But because there's nobody who's buying ad space who you haven't blocked. Look at how ambiguous that was. Ah. So you get people, you get like normal ass fucking dudes who have paid like a dollar and a half to fucking, uh, Promote their random shit post. And what happens is that basically, it's like Dark Souls PvP, where every once in a while, completely unannounced and unprompted, a normal ass fucking dude who you've never heard of or seen before just shows up in your experience and starts fucking making things weird. Oh, I'm so good. Look at the fucking. Oh! You win. <laughs> the peak of like Twitter recommendations was like, hey, guy at the uh, Twitter HQ who writes summaries of trending topics, go ahead, explain why Astolfo is trending in the United States right now. Explain. I want to know. I want to be connected with world news. Twitter, what's happening now? Well, what is happening now? Why is everybody talking about Astolfo? It's unreal that there's still Long Island iced tea in this fucking glass. I'm basically just fucking whiffing the aromatics at this point. Oh yeah, Pokemon Masters EX. I have an idea. That one was pretty good. Round 
Apparently, like, a terrifying portion of the VR chat population is furries, which should su surprise absolutely no one. Might be a bit of a little way. Bowser Day. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck! That's good. I feel like I might want to get to know some VR chat furries just to roll up to the one of those fucking worlds and be like, hey, so I don't specifically want to be an animal, but uh, hopefully we have enough in common with my like desire to like transcend the prison of decaying meat and bone. I'm not here to like gawk at the sideshow exhibit. It's just, I don't want to be a wolf, specifically. I would just like to be anything that isn't this. <laughs> I feel like there's common ground there. Well, I figure, like, this is as close to official as it can get. I would like to do something on Saturday. There is a fucking documentary series from, uh, fucking Secret Base, SB Nation, about the Atlanta Falcons. And in case you don't into fucking sports, or specifically, uh, American Hand Egg. Wow, that was a cross-up that's fucked up. Know that these guys have a history of producing ludicrously entertaining content for fucking dumb fuck dorks. Not specifically dumb fuck dorks who are sports fans. So maybe you want to come in. Fuck your disc, are you so- Whoa, through me. That's scary. Rainbow dicks! What's special about the Falcons? We are about to find out, apparently. They are an abnormal team, as I understand it. Schmix. Oh, I should've fucking- that was an easy yummy counter, actually. Before I cash up my $300 in Bitcoin for a Quest 2, is there a better option I could be waiting for? Okay, well first, nice. Uh, secondly... The advice I generally see from people is to ignore most headsets that are not the Quest 2 at an entry level, and the index at, like, a I intend to live the rest of my life in VR level. So... If the index is not in your price range, or it is missing features you give a fuck about, like fucking, uh... the wireless link, then with no new technology on the way immediately, in the view of most people, you probably fucking... Do people really think the Quest 3 is happening? I know people have seen, like, there's the eye-tracking localization strings that got data mined out of the most recent update, as, as well as the mention of the Quest Pro, but... Most of the theory I've seen regarding that suggests that it'll be an incremental upgrade. Okay, well, for one thing to note, like, for anybody who's thinking of getting into VR on any scale, the Quest version of VR Chat exists and, like, technically works, but think of it more like the trial version than a port. Quest content is, like, a, a lot of popular stuff is cross-platform, but the Quest is fucking 
hilariously underpowered for that target. And, like, anything that has not specifically been compiled for both platforms, nothing doing. But yeah, as a standalone headset, the, the uh, Facebook integration stays mostly out of your way, and is mostly just like... Eh. It's mostly for people who don't have a VR-capable PC, and are gonna be locked into the fucking mobile VR ecosystem. I will be right back. I think I'm gonna stop streaming when I finish my drink, but that may take a little bit while longer. I took care of it. I don't know how Fred didn't get it my IQ3, but... Oh, that's why. Well Hey, I'm back. If you have fucked eyes, you have to buy lenses for the headset, right? Uh, so the quest to... If you have glasses that work for you, then there is a glasses spacer that you can insert between the headset and the facial interface fucking thing. And, like... I have heard of that working for most people. Frey has the fucked up bad vision. So he can tell you more about that experience, I think, because he's used mine. I will say that, um... If you are buying a quest, it will take you about 10 seconds to figure out whether the stock strap is okay for you or not. If it is okay for you, great. It's the best option for sleeping in VR and fucking <laughs> removing yourself from this mortal plane for good. If it is not okay for you, I don't have long-term durability data on this or anything, but I will shill the Bobo VR M2, which sounds like the fakest product ever fucking devised. And like, Okay, so here's the real-time shill. 
instead of the headset attaching at the back of your head and the front of your face where the headset clamps on with a top strap, fucking halo strap design has it attaching up here and back here. And the fucking angle at which this is held means that the headset is kept off of your face and there's no tension clamping like this. Which is nice if you are like me and do not have working eyelid muscles. My particular thing is that, uh, you notice that if I blink, you can see my fucking eyebrows coming with, and that's because my eyelids don't work too good, and I have a little bit of a muscle graft stitched up back there to make things work regardless. And so, pressure on my forehead renders me unable to blink, which is not good. So that was my fucking medical use case for that, but also it's legitimately just more comfortable than both the uh, stock strap and the elite strap, as far as I can tell. Haley says, my big problem with VR setups is that I still struggle with motion sickness if I play while sitting down, but I don't have the space for a full real setup. So you're talking about like stuff with simulated motion, right? Like, when you move in-game and you don't feel yourself move, thing move, things are bad. As struggles with that a lot, so maybe you could, like, talk to her about the coping strategies. What we have found together that seems to work for her most consistently is, uh, have a fan blasting at your face to keep you oriented in the real world. And, uh, there is a Steam VR extension that adds the ability to uh, vignette the corners of your field of view whenever you move, or when you start moving to like basically put you in a stationary box so that the experience your eyes see matches like the experience your inner ear is having with like a little fucking pinhole out of it that you can see through. I forget what this is called, As can hit you with the name if she's fucking here. But like, the idea is that whenever you press on either configured, configured thumbstick, it basically like, blacks out the edges of your vision so you can still see, but you don't have the sensation of false motion. I don't struggle a lot with VR motion sensitivity, but when I was like, very new, I got dizzy pretty frequently. And I noticed Rec Room doing this. Rec Room is very aggressive about it and won't let you turn it off. And I noticed that I had the most comfortable time moving with a uh, full freedom non-teleport movement in Rec Room. Specifically because the vignette trick was fucking conning me into believing that I wasn't moving, I guess. Also, weirdly enough, a virtual nose seems to do it. I think there are some Steam VR extensions that give you like a fucking reference point in terms of like a cage over your face or like something static in your field of view. And I've seen that as like a motion sickness mitigation strategy. For what it's worth, I don't struggle with it at all, except in like extremely intense anti-gravity racers where like I definitely will get a little bit woozy. The most impactful thing that I've heard from Az is just the fan. And honestly, the fan is kind of useful, even if you don't suffer from motion sickness, because it is a way for you to orient yourself in your physical play space without having to rely on a visual cue. If you know where the fan is, then you know if you've gotten too far from it and you're in danger of fucking elbowing your wall or something. Fun fact, by the way, well, every fucking VR headset and every single VR compositor has some uh, fucking support for the idea of marking out a room boundary and warning you when you get too close. Those systems only work in two dimensions. And as you may know, human physical existence has three dimensions. So when I, very short fucking gay robot, 
tried to jump up to pat Naizaka's fucking seven foot cat boy avatar on the head, I punched my ceiling. I don't do that anymore. I have to put these fucking keywords back. Get off my bed! For what it's worth, like, I kind of have the space in here for VR, but dead ass, like, now that we've cleaned out the garage a little bit, you wanna fight? I kind of just want to do wireless VR in the garage and see if I can fucking bring another, um, router in there. Or if, like, our actual proper router has the uh, required reception. I should have stayed out. <laughs> I learned. Adaptation happening in real time. <laughs> VR is really cool. Like. I don't want to say that, like, the experience is immediately transcendent and life-changing or anything like that. But what I will say is that, like... You know that feeling you get when, like, you're finished with a book where, like, you basically shotgun to the last quarter of it in one sitting? Because you're so fucking into it. And, like, you put down the book and you, like, look at your room or wherever you're reading and you're like... Whoa. Uh... Like, you just have to take a moment to place yourself in your surroundings again. I live here and not there. That precise feeling is something that I've had in VR. Which I think is super neat. Rain. Get a press after that knee. That knee is so good. The other thing is that your motion sickness in VR is like, from what I understand, it's very heavily tied to the quality of the tracking that you're using. So if you're like, I get motion sick in VR and your experience is like Google card, bleh, Google cardboard, then uh, maybe reevaluate that. Ouch. Caught the up forward. Don't jump out of the corner. Anyway, regardless of whether you have VR or don't, I think we're going to do the thing on uh, Saturday. And I am super fucking looking forward to that. And anyone is welcome, desktop or headset. You do not need VR to play VR chat. It's cool, but... So here's my rant, right? I don't think Discord voice is usable past, like, three or four people in a channel. In VR chat, I've hosted groups of, like, 15, and it's just as comfortable as, like, being at a party. Because, like, the ability to physically move away from someone and, like, have a side conversation in a smaller group and then easily rejoin the large group or, like, hear what they're talking about in your periphery and fucking respond. Because when you, when you have 15 people in a fucking voice call at once, what happens is either everyone is talking over each other or... The conversation is required to be fucking single-threaded and synchronous. Everyone has to be talking about the same thing, and everyone has to wait their turn. Which means that conversation is slow and difficult. 
the ability to take your group of ten and divide it into two groups of four and two dudes who are fucking arguing and then seamlessly come back to one another is really fucking important. And that's a mechanism that is missing from, like, all modern VoIP solutions. The other thing is that, like, VR chat has people who give a fuck making content for the platform. Which means that when you go to a lot of worlds, there will be things like adjustable distance fall off and like low pass filters on people so that the fucking plosives and sibilants don't fucking destroy you. Like for shitty headset microphones, that platform's voice sounds pretty good. And a lot of things are automatically corrected for you. You still definitely do get people who are way quieter than they should be but individual user volume is still a thing, and fucking shocker, if someone is too quiet, you can physically move closer to them. Insane. So I think if you've previously had bad experiences with, like, large groups on voice, or if you're typically the kind of person who has good experiences on that kind of setting, and might want to get in touch with people who otherwise wouldn't feel like coming out of the woodwork. Or if you literally just want to be a wallflower and like experience some of the positive vibes of a fucking group doing the thing. And the same way that like, you go to the rave not to interact with the crowd, but to feed off the energy. Might be worth trying. How viable would it be to lay on my bed while using VR and equip bed mat avatar for immersion? I use fucking VR for my futon all the time, basically fucking fully reclining. View angle gets weird? I think you'd probably have to set up something for that, but you probably could. Small at heart says VR chat still gives me sensory overload, can still he hear people like five feet away, sadly. Wish I could enjoy it. Yeah. Worlds with like configurable audio fall uh, audio fall off help a lot with that, I think. Cause there's definitely like sometimes people literally just don't move far enough away. All right, this is level six switch player. This is my last match of the night. Cause I'm out of booze, and I think it would be irresponsible to refill it. And the most aggressive parts of intoxication are falling off and leaving me with the general inability to talk super good or play good fighting games. No. Whoa. Hello, rollback. Dude, I have no idea why the Dormammu avatar you found actually has the ability to, like, create world lights. That's gotta be some kind of weird, like, screen space shader trick. I don't think VR chat avatars are even supposed to have the ability to do that. That's not good. Alright, I gotta stop do I gotta start doing the cross and that they're actually blocking. A wall bounce, you can kill me off that, my brother. Hey, there you go, you figured it out. You still haven't blocked, but <sighs> look at those rollbacks, seriously. The finer points of rollback implementation are actually really fucking difficult. You can have a game that feels playable but also feels jank simultaneously. That comes from, like, rollback implemented on a sound technical level that doesn't take into account the way players experience things like fucking repeated sound cues. What a fucking mess. Assist. 
This is the great thing about this Rekka. When I talk about Fantasy Strike having a lot of moves that serve multiple purposes, the fact that this is like a three-way mix-up is kind of on its own level. What the fuck? Dude, that Sonic Adventure 2 has rollback now. Huh? What the fuck? Alright, so when's the fucking net play bracket? Let me guess, it already happened. Oh, that's so long. Here's the cross up. Oh, almost. Alright. I'm gonna go make sure to drink a fuck ton of water. And I'm gonna finish my World Flipper dailies. And then I'm gonna lie down and hope that tomorrow isn't suffering, because I don't usually drink very much at all. Actually, before I go... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, fuck! Mango Smoothie! Level 50! Rock Flare! Hmm. Interesting. That's an interesting way to catch round start forward jump. I do that all the time, fucking boot into fucking up forward body splash. No way, right? Oh no, alright. Nice. I knew they were prepared for the reversal, but didn't know whether delayed reversal would work on them. Everyone having a different throw animation for Rook is pretty funny. He's just too big. He's too big for Smash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you fucking see that? What the fuck? What even was that? Was that Earth's mightiest cross up? That actually does really well at catching up forward. Holy shit, I should steal that. Nice. I held up. That's it every time so far. It's gonna stop working eventually, I think, but for now I think I have to use it until it stops working. I'm dead, right? Yep. <laughs> Shit, I'm doing the fucking FGC nod. This is a real match. That's not allowed. Alright, here we go. Yeah. 
just make them fucking freak out. I don't know. Do a bunch of stuff and force people onto layer zero. That sucked, and I might lose the round for it. <sighs> okay. We're still in there. Justifiable eating of shit there. Oh no, I held up forward. And you're dead. Not even fucking Head Crush is gonna save you from falling into that. That was good though. That's actually a surprisingly good note to end on. Maybe I should have supered after the air reset, honestly. I wasn't sure about it. Alright, real quick. I am going to... Let's see. One seven seven six point seven nine one nine, huh? Okay, so I think, yeah, that should have fixed this visually. And now what I need to do before I forget is lock my fucking main view on every single scene where it appears. Oh my god, that is fucking fucked up and evil. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Ember Overlay. I only stream Raid now, don't you know? Okay, um... It's three in the morning. I probably need to, like, not do the drinking thing for a bit. Let's dock this over here nice and cozy. I appreciate everybody coming out. It's kind of a weird night, but I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Thank you all for your fucking financial generosity and shit, and you're all fucking ridiculous monsters. Um, good night. I sleep.